going on everybody i have a honda inverter eu 2000 i it's the older older model one one with the choke and we're having no start so for every engine you need three things to start you need spark you need compression and you need fuel so the easiest thing to check right off the top on these inverters is spark and what sucks is that if this is a valve issue, this is an overhead cam, not an overhead valve. You can still adjust them. It's just a pain in the batootie. So let's go ahead and we're going to check for spark right now. I'm hoping it's a no spark because it's probably easier to fix than a compression issue. But it could just be a fuel issue too. So right here, and as always, <clears throat> all the tools I use and everything, link in the description. If you guys want to check anything out, we have the switch on on, eco throttle off, and we're getting spark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this puppy around and give her the old magic start juice and see if that fixes our problem. See if maybe if we can hear a backfire to confirm our suspicion. But if not, we're going to have to take this whole thing apart. And that is not a fun experience. Those are eights. And I think they're since they're ingressed, I'm gonna actually need a socket, not my nut drivers. So let me grab that real quick. I've been liking those magnetic nut drivers, but sometimes you gotta use an old-fashioned socket. And all I'm doing here is just cracking this open. I'm not even taking it all the way off. I'm just cracking it open enough to spray some carburetor cleaner into the carburetor and we'll give it a few pulls and see if she starts I'm not hearing nothing no whistle no pop no nothing so let's take that spark plug out take a peek at it don't know what this tag's doing on here but in order to get to it i gotta cut it off now it's gonna be phillips 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 just trying to figure out where i want to start start with the exhaust area four phillips here flip it over here there will be two 10 millimeters at the bottom under this panel phillips here one on this side. Oh, now, I remember here, this one holds it on to this bracket here. I think we have to remove the on-off switch. Sometimes that's a pain. Now we take our flathead. These just pop off. And man, they put these inverters always in the dirt and the sand. So now flipping it over, you get these flips out. So I don't lose them. Like I said, down here, there's two 10 millimeters. And this one, I can just use my nut driver. Got those out. Now we should be able to pry this thing apart. It's a little pressed in. So don't feel bad if you never get it 100% all the way back tight, tight. I think they use a machine to press them in. But now, without going too far, I have access to this overhead cam here. So what I could do now is just, I'm just double checking everything. I could use my nut driver. But again, I'm gonna remove that spark plug. They don't make it not as hard as some of the other brands to get to the valves and stuff, but having an overhead cam is a pain in the ass. Some people might like them better. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I'm hoping when I take this off, We'll see obvious signs of damage. That's what I'm hoping for. Because then I know what to fix. Oh, I think that's what those little tabs are made for. Okay, let me turn this now. See how those cams are moving. Intake is stuck. Stuck valve on the intake side. Now I'm definitely not going to remove the head. Because that is a lot of work. But like we always do, we're going to see if we can't force that valve up. Let's 
go ahead and force it all the way down first. Let's remove the, this is a slide in, no tools required. We're gonna take the metal from our extension and we're gonna give it a tap down. It's all the way down now. Now, what I'm gonna do, oh, it's coming back up. It might be freeing itself up. I'm gonna spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner in there. Just in case there is any buildup, it can catch it. It might be freeing itself up. All the way down. It's coming back up. All the way down. But now is it coming all the way, all the way back up? There we go. That is all the way up. Put some more fluid in there. Just fill it up all the way. Let's pop that puppy back down. Now the 100% proper way to do it would be to completely dismantle this whole machine. Take out the valve, the spring and everything, clean it up, put it back together. But on this machine in particular, that is not a fun process at all. So we're just gonna give it the old regular cleaning and then have them run seafoam in the gas it is coming back up on its own I don't know if it's a cap or what I do not like that stable sprayer That's what I want to see it instantly coming back up so we'll put this tap it back on and we'll give it a whirl now I am gonna put safety glasses on because I'm gonna spin it and if on the compression stroke it decides to shoot up all that fluid you know what I could do I can put the spark plug on I still have my safety glasses on since last time so I just want to see if this valve moves now okay it's down back up plus now all that stuff is getting pushed around in there and cleaned so I would say that's a successful unstick job so now honestly we can put this all back together go ahead and drive these two that were in here back on when you're putting these on always hand start everything you do not want to strip ahead it is not going to be pleasant to fix it and I always believe if you mess something up that's on you to fix it not on the customer why should we charge a customer money to fix a strip head when we strip it okay now I don't have to put it all back together to see if it runs I'm gonna run it like this so where the hell did I put that little spark plug she should fire right up though if I'm being honest there we go I know a lot of people are not going to be happy with the way that I unstuck that valve, but it's the cheaper option and it works as you guys are going to see here in just a second because this thing should run fine now.
It's as easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it could have been worse. That valve could have been busted. But we got it running. It's going to smoke a little bit, as you see, because of that PU blast during chemicals I put in there. But I think over time, that valve will unstick if we put seafoam in the gas and run it. Now, he said it died when he was using it, which most of the time, that kind of stuck valve means gas sat a long time in it. I'm out of breath. Pulling them some bitches. <laughs> Anyways, if this video helped you, you know what to do. Drop that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button. I always appreciate it. And without further ado, we got this Honda EU 2000i up and running. I'm going to put it together off camera, call the customer, get it done. I'm going to charge 150 bucks. Um, that's just what I do. And I hope you guys have a good day.